This is problem number seven from 2000 Amy one. We have x, y, z being three positive numbers that satisfy the equation x, y, z being one, x plus one over z being five, y plus one over x equal to 29, and z plus one over y equal to m over n, where m and n are relatively prime positive integers and they want us to find m plus n. The first thing I realize is that these equations are symmetric. These equations are symmetric. By symmetric, I mean there's one with x, y, z. There's one with x, x plus one over z. There's one with y plus one over x. There's one with z plus one over y. They look very similar to each other. So maybe we can, maybe we can mess around with these equations somehow, add them, multiply them, or do such, and maybe get get an expression that we can simplify. And whenever you have some form of symmetric or close to symmetric equations, you want to usually do two things. You want to add the equations and you want to multiply the equations. And usually something pops up once you do both of them. So let's start by adding the equations up. So obviously these three equations look most symmetric. So let's add them up. So we have x plus y plus z plus 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z being equal to 5 plus 29 which is 34, plus m over n. Let's let m over n be any some random, some random number. We can let it be a. So 34 plus a. Okay, so we have this equation. Ah, does anything pop out? Can we simplify this? Uh, I guess we can maybe have this, have the common denominator of x, y, z and use x, y, z is equal to one. But the numerator is going to be too complex. Ah, uh, you, you know what? Let's leave it as it is. And now let's multiply the equations and see what happens. Let's see if we can use this somehow. So let's multiply these three equations and see what we get. Multiplying, let me actually write it down. X plus 1 over Z times Y plus 1 over X times Z plus 1 over Y. Okay, so we're going to have X times Y times Z. So X, Y, Z is going to be one of them. Now let's consider this X times 1 over x cancel out. So after x times 1 over x, you can either have z or 1 over y. So you can either have z or 1 over y. And maybe you realize that the similar things are going to happen. y times 1 over y is 1. So you can either have x or 1 over z. So instead of instead of listing them out, we can just write down, we can just follow the pattern and just write them down right away. So you're going to have x plus y plus z and 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z. And you are also going to have 1 over x times 1 over y times 1 over z, multiplying these three of them, which gets you 1 over x, y, z. Okay, and can we simplify this somehow? Hey, we know x, y, z is 1. They, they was given to us at the start of the question. So you can simplify x, y, z and 1 over x, y, z, and that's 1 plus 1, which is 2. So you have 2 plus x, plus y plus z, plus 1 over x, plus 1 over y, plus 1 over z. And what do you know this thing is equal to? We multiplied all of these equations together, so it should be equal to 5 times 29 times m over n, which is a. So we have 5 times 29 times a, which is 145a. Okay, so can we do anything with this? Huh, hey, look at this. You know x plus y plus z plus 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z is 34 plus a. And here we have the same expression. So we can substitute the value in. So we have 2 plus, 2 plus 34 plus a. Okay, this, this is going pretty well. You have 145a is 2 plus 34 plus a, which is 36 plus a. So we have 144a is equal to 36, or a is equal to 36 divided by 144, or unless I'm mistaken, that's 1 over, um, maybe, the, maybe, I should, maybe I should do it step by step. My brain isn't working too fast today. Okay, so that's going to be equal to, let's divide by 9, gets you 4 over uh, 15, I believe, 9. Uh, 54, oh, 4 over 16, my bad. 4 over 16, which is 1, oh yes, it was 1 fourth to begin with. So A is 1 fourth. So what we are looking for, M over N turned out to be 1 fourth, and 1 and 4 are relatively prime. 
and they want us to find n plus n, so our answer is 1 plus 4 or 5. On Amy, you want to write 005. 